the first webcomic that I ever made was called Knights and Rubies on Webtoons. Uh, I never finished it because I didn't know what kind of story I was trying to tell. And uh, my second attempt at a webcomic was also a failure. Uh, that one was called Pumari's Bounty, and it was supposed to be an entry for a Webtoons comic contest at the time. Uh, it was an action-adventure story about a bounty hunter named Pumari who was hired to catch a thief. Uh, this story was a little bit better because I knew what I was trying to do with it, but I ended up never meeting the deadline and decided to just stop drawing it. Uh, both projects were fun to create, but I just never finished them. So the question is, why am I doing it again? So I created those two series. Uh, the first one, Knights and Rubies, was 2019 when I created it, and Pumari's Bounty was in 2020. Uh, and so now, this year, 2022, it's still pretty much be the beginning of the year, closer to the middle of the year. Um, and I want to tackle another project for Webtoons, another short story this time, though. So this newest story that I'm trying to tell is about basketball uh, and the fun you can have in basketball, the teamwork involved, and the hard work that's also involved in the sport. Um, so with this story, I, I basically want to put my own spin on a basketball story that's inspired by my own experience playing in middle school and high school, uh, and that's just inspired by manga as well. So I want to put uh, I want to put this on webtoons. <clears throat> I want to keep it under three episodes, so a short something I can finish in uh, a reasonable reasonable amount of time, and uh, something that's inspired by manga and so when I'm creating a new project or comic uh, I can sometimes get overwhelmed with thinking about how long of a process it'll take for me to complete it especially with something that in my head I think will take years to complete so here on YouTube I'll just be working on this creating videos on this project uh, giving you tips on on the process of creating a webtoon in Clip Studio out of all the comic projects that I've attempted and created and have made, like in the past few years, I've only completed one of those projects, which was uh, Shadow of the Sun, I believe in 2021, so last year. And uh, with this project, I really want to get it done, get it finished. And that's why I want to stay to do, uh, I'll stick to three episodes and uh, just make it easy on myself to not only learn how to make a comic, learn how to write a comic, learn how to uh, put it on Webtoon, learn how to format it for Webtoon, and uh, hopefully create a story that, that's enjoyable for people to read and uh, that I can learn from as well. So in the background here, I'm just showing some of my sketches and some, some of the things I've been working on for this uh, project. The goal is to make something I can finish. So with this video series of I'm doing, uh, I'll show you my process from start to finish and uh hopefully help you out in your own process as well so let's get to it <laughs> 